What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you three elite RNCS teams that have to deliver more than anybody else in the Spring Split. We kick things off with Complexity. Their South American roster of Shad, Race Bull and AJG competes in the North American region and is just out of reach of Worlds qualification. They're currently only missing 321 points and it comes down to their performances in Fall and Winter. They played a fantastic first split of the season, getting an average finish of 5th place, but they also had a very mediocre winter split, only averaging a ninth place throughout the regionals. This gets them an average finish of 7th place per regional, and that just isn't enough. They needed a change and they had one, but it wasn't a roster change unlike the other teams I'm gonna introduce. It was a relocation. Complexity used to play their games in Mexico, and that's why they played on a higher ping than they had to. Starting with the spring split, however, they're gonna move to Chicago in a bootcamp environment and also got a lower ping over over there. Since the roster itself is very talented and didn't really need a change, this could be the deciding factor. To me, Complexity is a do or die team coming into spring and I would really like to see them at Worlds. Now let's move to team number two. It's team vitality and I think we can all agree on the fact that a team with a gaming facility, financial backup and a huge fan base has to deliver at some point. Prior of their roster moves, signing Radisson to replace Fairy Peak, they became 8th on average with the best result being a second place on the second regional. In the winter split they then only averaged a 12th place and that is way below their expectation. The roster move they had coming into the spring split could be the deciding factor for them to turn things around as their recent results in the off-season tournaments show. A third and second place against high caliber opponents seems to be an indicator of improvement. However a direct world's qualification spot for the team is very unlikely at the moment because EU will probably only have four of those at the end of spring but they are only 510 points away from the fifth place in the eu ranking which would get them to the wildcard qualification so it's definitely possible to reach that and therefore also vitality has to deliver now to still make words by the way if you enjoy the content it would make my entire week if you hit that subscribe button real quick only takes two seconds thank you very much now let's move on it's number three on the list and it's team envy the team around miss turbo and atomic at that time had a banger for a split they got 6th, 4th and 2nd place, but then in winter after the trade of Dries for Atomic, they kinda fell off and only got 14th, 7th and 9th place, which adds up to a 7th place on average just like Vitality. And that really made them reconsider their decisions. While Dries was a very promising player at the time of the swap, he didn't live up to the expectations at all. As a cherry on top, Atomic won the major with G2 and led to Envy benching the 4 times world champion Turbo to start their coach Illusion. It seems to be a chain of bad decisions for Envy at the moment, but I hope they made the right decision this time, because there is no margin for error anymore with a gap of 461 points to a world qualification spot. Just like the other two teams, they are on do or die this split. And I am very excited to see the outcome in the next couple of months. Let me know in the comments if you think any of these teams will make worlds and we are gonna see each other next time.